Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I'm going to the Palace Theatre in Manchester and I'm going to go and see Anything Goes which is star starring Kerry Ellis. I'm going to a matinee showing which starts at 2.30. I'm going to be sat in the circle, I'm on row P, seat 31 which I think is an aisle seat. Yeah, so I paid £13 for my ticket which I thought was pretty good for a ticket in the circle. So yeah, it's not at the very back. Usually when you get £13 tickets in a circle, it's usually the back two rows. I think this is four rows from the back. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see what my view is like from that seat. And I'm really looking forward to it. I've never seen anything goes before. I've heard really good reviews from it. In fact, my mum and dad went on Saturday and they said it was really, really good. They said, I think I'll enjoy it. So the dancing in it is um, really good. And it's got a lot of tap dancing in it. So yeah, I'm really excited to see this one. So obviously I'll take you to the theatre. I'll show you all the merch that they've got, I'll show you my seat, I'll show you the view from my seat and um, I think you are allowed to film the curtain call in this one so I'll film the curtain call for you and obviously I will review it at the end and tell you what I thought of it. So yeah, I'm really excited, I'm all ready to go now, um, I'm going to be getting the tram there, it's currently half twelve, I'm hoping to get there for about half one an hour before it starts just so I can show you around the theatre and stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this little video. arrived at the tram station now it's just gone half one got three minutes in tram so should be all right getting there time so yeah really looking forward to getting there and seeing the show now it's really hot today as well really hot today.
just at the top of the stalls now. This is the view from the top. I'm just gonna wait to take my seat because I'm on the end. So I'll let people get in first. So I'll show you the seat in a minute. Okay, I'll just show you to my seat now. I'm on row P, seat 31. The ticket said that it was limited leg room, but there seems to be plenty of leg room in the seat for me. So yeah, I wouldn't say it was limited leg room. So I'm just in my seat now. It's quarter past two. I'm still starting about 15 minutes. And yeah, looking forward to it. I feel like it's going to be a good view. I'll just show you my view now. There you go. So this is my view from my seat. So it's like a pretty good view. I'll let you know what I think of it in the interval. So it is now the interval, and yeah, I'm really enjoying the show so far. I think I really enjoyed it, but I'll tell you more about it once I get home. From the theatre and I really enjoyed Anything Goes. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did because I'm not a massive fan of like the old style musicals but I actually really really enjoyed it. So it was on at the Palace Theatre in Manchester. Um, I was sat in the circle for this one. I was sat on row P seat 31. It was an aisle seat. And I only paid £13 for that ticket and the view was really really good definitely recommend sitting in that seat for 13 pounds of view was excellent i think you'll be able to see the view from the curtain call um but yeah it was a really good view for what i paid for it it, it does say on the ticket that it's limited leg room but i thought the leg room was fine i think i showed you the leg room and yeah i thought the leg room was fine and the view was excellent so definitely recommend sitting in that seat if you ever go to the palace theater and you can get a seat for 13 pounds there 
Yeah, so the view from the seat was great, but I just remembered yeah, there was the overhang from the Grand Tier from that seat. So you did miss a bit of what was going on on the top tier of the boat. So if you didn't know, this, there's a set and it's set like a boat and it's sort of got three tiers to the boat. So the top tier, occasionally there would be people walking across it. Um, I think there is one point where one of the main characters does sing a song from the top tier and you can't really see it. Well, I could see it if I bent down a little bit. I could see everything. I could see her singing. Um, but if you were quite tall and you had to do that, it would probably be a bit annoying. Um, but that is the only part really that you miss is when she sings that song. And I didn't really miss it because I just bent down a bit and I could see. Um, but I think if you sat the seat behind, you probably wouldn't have been able to see that. But yeah, that's the only bit really was that if you do on the, anyone on the top tier of the boat, you did miss a little bit from that. But other than that, it was a really good view from that seat. So Anything Goes started at the palace on, I think it was the 9th of June, and it finishes on the 18th of June. So on Saturday, uh, that is the last show in Manchester, and then I think it's going back to London. Um, so it's the end of the tour, and it's going back to London. Um, I think it's on at the Barbican Theatre in London, so I'm not sure how long it's on for. Well, actually, I think it, it's on till the 3rd of September in London, so if you did want to go and see it, uh, you'd have to go to London to see it. Uh, but yeah, it was really, really good. Um, I definitely recommend it. Um, I really like Kerry Ellis, so I was really glad to see her in this. I mean, the last thing I saw Kerry Ellis in was Wonderland when that toured. Was that 2019 when that tour? 2017? Can't quite remember, but that was the last um, thing that I saw Carrie Ellis in. But she was she was amazing in this. She was really really good. So they did have some merch for this show. They had T-shirts. They had little dog plush toys. They had a, a wallet, I think. They had a keyring, a magnet, um, a mug patch a pen a notebook and a tote bag so they had quite a lot of merch um i just got the magnet which i'm a bit disappointed with to be honest i think it would look nicer if it had the anything goes logo on it um i didn't actually see it before i asked for it it does have anything goes here at the side but you wouldn't look at it straight away and think oh that's from anything goes but I'm still glad I've got it because I've got something from the show. Uh, this was £6. Uh, I also obviously picked up the programme here and this was £5. Um, so that's all the merch that I picked up. So Anything It Goes is set on a cruise liner which is um, sailing from New York to London. And on the ship there is a guy called Billy Crocker. I think his name is and he is in love with I think she's an heiress called Hope. She is engaged to um, Lord Evelyn Oakley. His friends Reno and Moonface try to help him win uh, Hope, win her over and steal her away from her fiance. Um, so that is the basic, very basic story to Anything Goes and it was really funny. I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of comedy in it. It's um, like that old style comedy um but it was really really funny i really enjoyed it and the sets in this i really enjoyed the sets i thought the set of the boat was really good and they had like um they had little sets that come out which was like the cabins in in the boat i just i thought the set design was really really good i'm not sure who designed the set actually i have to look in the thing and see who designed the sets but so the set designer was derek mclean and yeah, I really enjoyed the set design, I thought it was really, really good. Uh, the choreography of the dance moves was excellent. It was visually really appealing. The When they did the dancing on the sets, it was just really good. Um, I really loved the tap numbers, I thought those were great. And it's got such a big cast, it's, I think it's 50 cast members in this production. And it makes the dancing just look so much better when you got that many dancers so i really enjoyed all the dance numbers thought they were excellent Kerry ellis in this was amazing her vocals were perfect her dancing was amazing i've always been a fan of Kerry ellis so yeah i just thought this 
this production visually was really really good i definitely recommend seeing this even if you're not a fan of the old style musicals i think you'll enjoy this just because the visual of it is is so good um, with all the dancing and stuff i think i think you'll enjoy it so i'll show you the program now and tell you who the cast were in this I had quite a few famous faces in this so we'll go through the program and i can show you the cast so i think i said there's like 50 cast members in this um like they've got a massive ensemble they've also got a full orchestra so it was the orchestra was excellent the music was really really good um so yeah we'll go through the program now okay so this is the program so on the first page this just tells you some of the shows that are coming to the palace theatre um this year then you have well, some information about the palace theatre Then here you've got your scene and musical numbers. And then you've got your cast biographies. So we have Kerry Ellis, who plays Renault Sweeney. Kerry's been in lots of things. She's been in, obviously she's been in Wicked on the West End and Broadway. She's been in We Will Rock You, she was in Wonderland when I went to see the tour of that. So Carrie's been in a lot of stuff and she's she's a great um, theatre actress. I always really enjoy her performances. I also went to her concert that she did with Brian May which was really, really good. So yeah, I really enjoy Carrie Ellis. I always try and see her if she's in a show. Then we have Dennis Lawson, who played Moonface Martin. It says here that he's most well known for his role as John John Jaundice in the BBC adaptation of Bleak House. I've never seen it, but apparently that's what he's best known for. Then we had Simon Callow as Eliza Whitney. And he's been in a lot of theatre. That's his biography. Then you had Bonnie Lanford playing Evangeline Har Harcourt and I think the last thing I saw Bonnie Lamford in was 9 to 5 um, I think she's been quite a lot of musicals so yeah it's just 9 to 5 she's been in 42nd Street Dirty Rotten Scoundrels Spam a lot yeah she's been a lot of things but I did see her in the 9 to 5 tour so, and then you've got Samuel Edwards playing Billy Crocker Nicole Lily Baisden playing Hope Harcourt. Carly Mercedes Dyer playing Irma. Hayden Oakley playing Lord Evelyn Oakley. And so all the cast in this were absolutely amazing. Um, all the main characters were really, really good. say there's a lot of cast members in this okay so that's all the cast and then okay, this is your cast list here the main characters and this tells you your understudies. I think we did have one understudy on actually. Um, I'll just check who it was. So yeah, the understudy was on for the ship's purser. So it's usually Cornelius Clark. But we had the understudy on. Um, there we go. Eamon Cox was on for the ship's purser. And if, from what I remember, it's only a small role. Um, it's not one of the main roles. And we've got the orchestra here, creative team, and your production team. And then this is your creatives. Um, 
and then you've just got some advertisements for upcoming shows. And yeah, that is your program. So yeah, like I said, Anything Goes is on at the Palace Theatre until Saturday the 18th of June. Um, there is actually a, an offer on for tickets uh, for all shows. It's £25 best available seat, so I'll link the offer uh, down below for you in case you want to use that offer. I'll put the offer code in the description uh, down below. Um, so yeah, uh, I would suggest you go and see it at Manchester while you can before it moves over to London. Um, I think it's only in London for a short time, I think till the 3rd of September, so it's not on for very long. So if you can get tickets, definitely go, and it's worth going while there's this really good offer on. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend it. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little theatre vlog. Um, I should be going to a few more shows within the next few weeks. There should be some more theatre vlogs coming up. I've got Sister Act booked for this month. I'm also going to see Cluedo at the Lowry. Um, we are going to London, me and my husband. Um, so there's a couple of shows we're going to be seeing in London. So yeah, there should be a few good uh, theatre vlogs coming soon. So if you enjoy theatre vlogs and you'd like to see those ones, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when those videos go up. So yeah, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.